Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to continue those postnatal exercises. And there's no excuses today not to exercise. You don't need a babysitter, OK? We can have our baby with us in the push chair. So it's a nice little bonding experience the baby can join in too. What we're going to do, first of all, is do a little warm up. Before we do that, please remember it's so important that when you first start training after you've had a baby, that your GP is very happy with you to train. Everybody's different. Please don't worry. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. If your friend after a few weeks was running around and looking fabulous and you're still feeling a little bit tender, okay, don't worry. Work within your own capabilities. Listen to your body. And like I said, I have to keep repeating myself. Please make sure that you've had your six week check with your GP and that your GP is very happy for you to exercise as well as the exercises that we're doing today. It's a really good idea that to build up your cardiovascular training to get out walking with the pram. So again, you can have your baby with you. Okay, and that walking with the pram, as well as toning the muscles in the legs and the bottom, okay, it's going to be a really good fat burner. It's going to start to build up your fitness and stamina. And if you are feeling like your energy levels are low, by getting out in the fresh air and having a walk with your push chair, it's going to give you lots of energy, a little burst of energy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do five exercises. Before we do that, we're going to do a little fun workout with the pram and your baby will love this. So just a couple of safety points before we begin. Make sure that the brake is on on the pram so the baby can't roll away from you. Make sure that your baby's strapped in safely. Okay. And that all four wheels or three, because some, some of you may have only three wheels on the pram. Make sure that all the wheels stay on the floor all the time. I don't want to anybody to be tipping the pram up like this or putting pressure on the pram. The pram is here just as assistance. So you're not gripping the handlebar tightly, you're resting the hands onto the handlebar, okay? So again, brake on, all the wheels stay on the floor. Baby in the pram for the balance of the weight, okay? Because you'll be counteracting that. And we're gonna start off with a fun warm up. So we'll say hello to your baby, give your baby a smile, okay? And we're just gonna march. So before we exercise, it's really important that we warm all the muscles up in the body. Okay, so we're going to warm up the muscles and prepare the body ready for the work workout ahead. So we've got five exercises planned for today. During the warm up, we're going to start off with heel dig. So just release the heels. Okay, your baby's going to wonder what you're doing if they're awake. Heels forward. Eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two toes back push it back so we're just warming up all those muscles this is an ideal opportunity to think of that pelvic floor as well so squeeze those muscles pull your stomach in nice and tight we're not doing any jumping today okay we're keeping our feet on the floor to the side out out so keep your feet on the floor okay pull that stomach in nice and tightly so all the time, training those muscles nice and tight. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift your knees up, up, up. Is your stomach nice and tight? I hope so. I'm gonna nag you all the time to be pulling that stomach in. Okay, eight to go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kick your bottom this time. Heel to the bottom. So we're warming up the muscles in the legs and we're gradually elevating that heart rate. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just march and we're gonna take it forward, forward, back and tap. Forward, forward, back. Forward and back. Have we got it? Forward, forward, back, tap. Forward, forward, back, tap. Get that body moving. Keep going. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and march. Okay, 
we're going to do the warm up once more. Now instead of a march, foot to foot. And again, we're not jogging, we're not jumping, we're keeping our feet on the floor. Okay, so pull the stomach nice and tight. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Are we ready? We'll start with our heels after four, three, two, here we go. We take it forward. Keep going, forward, eight to go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take it back. Remember, you're just gently resting the hands on the pram, okay, just for support. Don't grip it, don't tip the pram up, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now the side out don't grip the pram rest the hands on is your stomach pulled in i hope so eight seven six five four three two knees up up we're all going to be yummy mummies get your knees up eight more eight seven six five four three two one, now curl, kick your bottom, if your baby's awake they really are going to be wondering what you're doing, eight to go, four more, and march, okay, forward, forward, back and tap, you should be feeling nice and warm now, just let those elbows bend and stretch, so you're warming up all over the body. Four more to go. Four, three, two, one. Feet apart and we're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna swing the hips side to side. Roll the shoulders, get those hips wiggling, come on. Side to side, pull your stomach tight. Wiggle those hips, now circle the shoulders forward. Keep swinging those hips side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now circle the hips forward and round. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. The other way. Five, four, three, two, one, well done. Are we ready to start? We're gonna start off with some pelvic tilt standing. So, feet narrow, feet hip width apart, hands on the push chair. And all you're going to do is keeping the knees bent, is tilt, tuck the base of the spine under. So draw the belly button, that's the navel, pull the belly button to the spine, tuck the base of the spine under and release. Keep the knees bent but still, tuck under and release. So you're just tucking the base of the spine under, squeeze all those internal muscles nice and tightly, and release. Tuck the base of the spine under, and release. Five to go. So pull under, squeeze all those internal muscles nice and tightly, okay? Four to go. Remember, don't grip the handlebars, just gently rest the fingers on the handlebar. Keep all the wheels of the pram on the floor. Last one. Well done. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of balance work now. So all you're going to do is lift one leg off the floor. During pregnancy, the center of gravity, your balance will have really been affected by the bump at the front of you. So we've got to get that balance back now. Just have a little go if you can let go. If you feel a bit wobbly, keep your hands on. And change. So lift the knee. Find that centre of balance. Focus the eyes forward. If you feel safe, hands here. If you feel a bit wobbly, keep them on here. Stomach nice and tight, so you're engaging those abdominal muscles. Hands on. Should we try it once more? So lift. Hold it nice and tight. Hands here. Hands on. Take it down. Last time, lift, hold it, 
pull that stomach nice and tight if you relax your stomach you'll fall over and down okay we're going to work the stomach muscles again now the abdominals and our waist all we're going to do is gently rest our fingertips onto the push chair keep your knees bent and we're taking it over and up over up hips nice and still bottom in stomach tight five more five four so feel that waist tighten two more one more excellent so knees slightly bent bottom in stomach tight and we'll go to the opposite side and up hip still keep the hands on the handlebars don't grip the pram keep going so we're just working that waist don't let your hips bob around like this keep your hips still okay five to go five four three two more one more now to check you're doing the sideways movement and that you're not leaning forward or backwards place one hand on the pram and the other hand down the side of the leg and this time when you do your waist bend feel the fingertips touch the side of the knee sliding down the side of the leg after four three two here we go over and up over so you need to make sure you're not leaning forwards or backwards it's a definite sideways movement pull your stomach in and this is to tighten and narrow your waist area keep going that's 10 if you need to rest that's fine the rest of us we're going to go to 20. make sure you can feel those fingers going down the side of the leg to the side of the knee five more five four three two one and change so hand down the side of the leg just check your posture you shouldn't be stood like this bottom in back straight stomach tight one hand on the pram one hand down the side of the leg we'll start with 10 over and up take the head with you so the head stays in line with the spine there's no movement in your hips keep your hips nice and still and we're trying to isolate the muscles of the waist all the time pulling that stomach nice and tight bracing our abdominal muscles so we're trying to flatten the stomach that's 10 so well done if that's enough for you the rest of us let's try and get to 20. keep going nearly there slide the hand down the side of the leg two more one more well done have a little march we're going to do some calf raises now so the calf muscles run at the back of the leg here okay and we're going to tighten the calves so feet nice and narrow parallel so the hips knees and toes all face forward and again gently rest the fingertips on the handlebars of the push chair you're going to work through the foot so you're going to rise up onto the ball of the foot and lower if possible when you lower keep your heels just off the floor and that will keep the tension on the muscles again make sure you break down so your palms not going to push away from you after four three two one lifting up and down so this is called a calf raise when you're exercising you always blow the breath out on the effort so a little gentle breath out as we go up squeeze those muscles in the backs of the legs again it's a really good opportunity to think about your posture okay so your back straight your bottom in and your stomach pulled nice and tight ten more ten nine to feel those calf muscles tightening now six to go six five four think of posture three two one well done a little march 
and we're going to do what we call a glute raise now. Glute is your bottom, so we're going to work the bottom. All we're going to do with the right leg is squeeze and lower. Squeeze. So can you see? I'm just lifting the leg behind me. All together. After four, three, two, one. Lift up and down. Think of your posture. Do it nice and tight. Shoulders down. Again, blow our breath out as you lift the leg. And this is going to tighten up the bottom. Keep going. One more. That's ten. Change legs. Ready. And squeeze. And lower. Squeeze. Up. Up. Squeeze the cheek at the bottom. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and march. Okay, we're going to repeat our calf raises. So feet nice and narrow. Check your posture. I'm going to lift and lower. After four, three, two, here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, don't move the knees. The knees stay still. You're just lifting and lowering the heels off the floor. And keep them just off the floor when you're lower. Stomach in, bottom in, back straight, shoulders down. And really feel like you're pulling up out of those hips. So you're trying to pull that stomach tight. There should be a nice space between the hips and the rib cage. Ten to go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two more, and march it out. I hope we're feeling good. We're doing really well. Are we ready for our glute squeezes? We'll try for 20 this time. Do a minimum of 10, and then if you need to stop before 20, that's fine, but do the best you can. After four, three, two, one, squeeze up and down. Up. Up. Keep going, raise the leg. Squeeze the cheek at the bottom. That's ten. Well done. Ten more if you can. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and rest. Change legs. Four, three, two, here we go. Lift up and down, up and down. So be nice and tight. Lift that leg behind you. Keep going. Up and down. Focus the eyes forward once you know what you're doing. That's our minimum of 10. 11, keep going, 12, well done, squeeze that bottom, pull your stomach in, check your posture, especially if you're getting tired, and march it out, well done, we're going to do some stretches now, so first of all we stretch the calf, so take one leg back, bend the front knee, so the knee's over the heel, Back leg extended with the heel down. And again, don't put pressure on the pram, just gently rest the fingers on the pram. And there should be a diagonal line from the heel through to the top of your head. Hold that stretch for the calf. And change. So use the pram just as an assistance. Bend the front knee, push the back heel down. Keep all the, the knee and the toes and the hips forward so there's no twisting. And feel the muscles in the calf stretch out. Hold that stretch. Stand up, take the foot to the bottom. Thighs together, hips forward. And feel a nice stretch in the front of the thigh. Just gently breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Change legs. So foot to the bottom. Hold it there. 
So a nice stretch in the thigh. Now step away from the pram so the fingertips are just resting on. And we're going to stretch the hamstrings now, the backs of the legs. So bend both knees, then from here, extend one leg, just relax the foot, and then with a straight back, lean forward, keeping the head in line with the spine. Feel that stretch. Hold it there. Pull those stomach muscles up. And come up. So bend both knees, extend one leg, keep the other leg bent, back straight. Keep going until you feel a stretch. And just gently use the assistance of the push chair so you don't fall over. And come up. We'll stretch the sides of the body now, okay? So just stretch over. Feel a nice stretch on the sides of the body. And stretch the other way. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. There's lots more postnatal exercises to come. Each time will get a little bit more intense. I look forward to seeing you all again soon.